So welcome to my site, uh, virginialandowner.com, and this YouTube site. And I'm a professional real estate person in southwestern Virginia. I live in Botetourt County, a little bit south of Lexington, Natural Bridge, that area. The Shenandoah Valley is extremely beautiful, and that's why I live here. And I love rural life, so I specialize in property out in the countryside, uh, farms, land, and things like that, because I enjoy the country myself. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, the whole idea of listing pre presentation, what a realtor actually does for people. Um, a lot of people who hire us to sell their houses, they don't really know exactly what we do. <laughs> Sometimes they, they get the impression that we just go back to our office and sit back and for a while and a few months later we come and get a check. <laughs> it's not quite like that. So there's actually quite a bit of complications involved in selling a piece of property. And as a realtor professional, we have a responsibility for you, our client. Uh, there's really no sense in us having any kind of a dishonesty in any way because we need repeat business. We want to have top ethics in every way in the way we conduct our business. There's a lot of money involved and a lot of very serious things that go on, inspection and so on. So it's a very serious thing and what, for example, a realtor might do, who people don't know, for example, is uh, I have a file here for one of the houses that I did. <laughs> Big fat file. I was supposed to keep it for three years. And it all starts with a bunch of notes here. You see you got a long list of things of information in here and I made notes of when I did things and conversations I had and then I had to print out a lot of different documents and sometimes multiple times and then I have a, a map of the property and a whole lot of phone numbers of people who have called about the property in case one maybe maybe a deal falls through they can call them back later so there's an awful lot of paperwork involved in selling a home and uh, that's why you know people like us do the work for you and that's it really helps a lot so one of the things that I'll do if I come to see your home I want to get the maximum understanding of what this, this a home is a product I need to sell it I need to it's not a high pressure type of sale. I mean, it's not a widget I sell to somebody that everybody needs a, a food shopper or something like that. It's, it's a very unique piece. Each home and property is very unique and there's going to be unique buyer who wants that and wants to say, okay, I treasure it now because I'm buying it. I'm putting a whole lot of money into it. So there's a very delicate balance between finding just that right person who says, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get that property and I'll pay a good money for it because I see its value. So there has to be a meeting of the minds between the buyer and the seller. Now, when you try to sell on your own, it's very hard to do that because what happens is, as you, if you tried it, one of the things that happens is you get a lot of phone calls and a lot of them are very inappropriate times <laughs> and some of them are very rude. And they'll ask you a lot of questions that you'll have to say over and over and over again. The same thing, oh yeah, you know, okay, my, my wife took the call, and you got to call them back when you get home, and maybe you don't feel like it. So a realtor takes the responsibility of getting the calls and talking to people and dealing with them and basically qualify them. Because if someone calls me up as, a, as an agent for a client and they say, hey, you know, I saw this house, I was driving by, you know, do they rent to own? No, unless you want to, but see, those are the kind of calls that you won't have to answer, and it'll come a lot of, a lot of calls like that. So that's one thing that we do. There's an awful lot of paperwork involved in realtor, this, uh, real estate transactions. There's a lot of people involved. So, for example, let's say you want to just sell a simple house, and it really doesn't, It's maybe it's 30 years old or something. It's in halfway decent condition, but after 30 years, it might need a roof. Uh, it might have some foundation issues or any other kind of issues after 30 years. But a realtor can perceive the home in a different way than you do. They'll look around and be very objective because they're not attached. The idea is like, I will be honest with my clients say, look, you know, this, the bathroom is what it is, but honestly, if there's something you can do to clean it up, maybe paint the walls or something like that, or maybe it has a little leak and it takes a simple plumber fix or something like that. There's things that you can do that the realtor is going to help you get a picture of how to present your house so that 
when the buyer comes, that one buyer that maybe they just happened to come into town that weekend, they're looking around at houses and they saw it online, they say, Let, honey, let's go drive by that house. And they come into your house and it's clean and it's ready and everything. So that's what you can do as a client. Now, when I get a listing, there's a first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to come with a pad of paper, and I'm going to ask a lot of questions about your place. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you to show us some documents if you have them. If there's some missing, maybe you can go look for them. If it's out in the country, I want to know where the septic in the well is, and I want to know, see where the exact boundaries are. Maybe you have a tax map. Um, when's the last time the septic was inspected? Um, how is the roof? Have you spent any money on the property since you got it? Did you do any improvements or expansions? Are there any special features that you have that you can really say, hey, I got this really great thing. I'll show you this great wood wood cabinet that was built in. I mean, there's things like that that you can tell a realtor and say, yeah, I got these special features. So that when I make a description of your property to put it out for everybody to see on the Internet, I want to write something really nice and something really accurate and descriptive that sells your property and just shows look people are looking out from there may be somebody in California that are looking for a house in Virginia <clears throat> it happens all the time and all they know is they see a few pictures see now I can take I used to be a professional photographer and I did area photography I still do that so I could take some really great pictures of your home and document everything that I see there and I know how to take a picture so that I highlight the best things okay I don't want to <clears throat> try to make your yard look bigger than it is or anything but there's certain lighting things that I can do and uh, time of day things that get a really great pictures of your property so that when people do look at it they'll have more than just one little picture of the front of the house or something they might have like twenty or thirty pictures and if you if you'd like me to do if you have a large piece of land I'll do an aerial shot for you uh... in southwestern Virginia that'll I'll include that if you if you list with me um, so what does a realtor actually do so when I come to you and talk with you it's just going to be an honest conversation. Hey, you know, I know it's a big transition you're going through, and and it's there's some emotions involved, and the realtor can be there and very positive, saying, "Hey, we're going to do all right with this house. We'll get it all ready, and we'll get you out of here, and you'll have a nice sale, and you know, we'll get a decent price on it, and I'll screen out the people you don't want to talk to, and you only need one buyer. See, that's the nice thing about selling a house. You just need one good qualified buyer who really wants that and if you're lucky you get maybe two or three bidders and they bid in a little bit and it bumps up a bit <clears throat> and then that one person who really wants it the most is going to get it so there's a strategy involved in marketing say I start thinking about when I look at a house well who might buy this house well what's the price of it roughly that's another thing I talk about but the price is a very critical thing how to determine the price but let's say we come up to a price and say, well, who is the likely buyer? They got to have X dollars of income, basically. Maybe it's a two earner family. Maybe it's a private. They have a business or something, and they're a local entrepreneur. What kind of person is going to buy this type of property? See, out in the countryside, there's so much variety in property. You go around the corner, and they're totally different view. Whereas in a suburb, you might have like, okay, well, this house is right next to that house, and you have a little bit different view, but it isn't much different. So it's not a big deal. But in the countryside, evaluating your property is a little bit more complicated because you may not have some nearby houses that sold recently in that type of house in that, that price range. So then I start thinking, well, who's going to buy this property? And then you start thinking, well, who do I know? And... and these days, people are very, very self-reliant. Like I said, they get on the internet and they just they let their eyes do the walking. They say and they just find a house. And I think my daughter bought a house practically. They they saw one like in South Carolina from New York, and they ended up buying it. They just they they thought, oh, I think that's the good one. I'll put down a little deposit to hold it there, and I'll go down and take a look at it. Yep, this is the one I want. <laughs> so people do that these days. But out of the real rural area, it's more difficult. I've handled transactions where I've sent a lot of videos back and forth and, and pictures. I can do that. And then if you're an out-of-town buyer, then I can communicate with out-of-town buyers. And if you're even an out-of-town seller, I can handle a transaction that happens to be here. 
So a listing appointment is a time for you to come up with your paperwork and have a clarity of mind. Okay, I really want to sell it. I want to know what the time frame that you're going to want it. Let's see, if you need to go out for a school year, if you got a new job coming, you got to get it going fast, then we have to talk about how are we going to do that. Well, what if the offer doesn't come in? You got to move. So uh, I'm, I can hear and show the property, but there's there's complications that can happen and if you really have to move let's say you have a great job offer somewhere else but you gotta move quickly within 60 days well if you got a great job coming it's a great thing for your life then discount the price a little bit to get it moved fast because you're gonna make that money you're gonna go to a different place and you're gonna get what you want if you come down five thousand dollars on a house that's a three hundred thousand dollar house in the big picture is not gonna to matter too much when you, especially if you're moving for a really good reason like a job or something or transfer so the main thing a real estate person I don't know how other people do it but I just have an honest conversation with the people you who are selling your home I know it's a huge responsibility, it's a huge thing, and it's a lot involved in it. And when you start thinking about moving, if you've been there for a long time, there's a whole lot of things that come up. You gotta clean out the garage, and yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So you can do your part, and then I'm gonna be doing the sales part and the screening part, and I'm gonna be keeping the documentation that I gotta make a big fat file here and I gotta like log to my phone calls and I gotta write lots of emails and I gotta answer texts and I gotta send videos and I do a lot of work for selling a home. <laughs> it's not <laughs> Yeah now and then there's an easy one, yeah sure. But you have to know a lot. There's an old a little phrase here, I'll end with this. Let's say there's a plumber he comes to the guy's house and looks around for about half an hour and he says, Well, okay I he taps a pipe a few times and then he says, okay, that'll be a hundred dollars. <laughs> and the people say, what do you mean it's a hundred dollars? He didn't do anything. He said, well, it's ninety dollars for me knowing what to do and ten dollars for knocking with my hammer. <laughs> anyway, the point is that there's a lot of work involved in sell your home and we're enthusiastic. See, that's the whole idea of a realtor. If you trust a realtor, they're likely to get you a much better price anyway because they have a better exposure and better negotiation and they handle everything they they really work for for the money and I don't even want to think about the hourly wage on some of some of the jobs the properties I've sold because when I if I really added it up the property <laughs> would be embarrassing but <clears throat> the cu customer was really happy and you get referrals and and then you learn a lot as you do all these different transactions because when I sell a home, I'm going to find out, I'm going to drive around, I know this whole area, my area, the Shenandoah Valley, I drive on lots of little dirt roads and big roads and everywhere, so that's another thing that you have a realtor on your side, that's the whole idea, you hire them to be on your side and they're going to help you make more money with the sale of your property and help get it the transaction go through because there's no good having a transaction that goes like two months and then all of a sudden the last the last three weeks it falls apart can't do that so the whole idea is like the every day the realtor's got to push this sale along especially it gets closer and closer like okay well we got to get the inspection we got to do this in time we got to do that in time so there's a lot involved and the whole idea also is to have a realtor with a very calm uh, Temperament. Uh, I'm a private pilot, and one of the models from piloting is uh, panic is never an option. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you again for listening. I appreciate it very much. And if you have any property to sell, I would love to come and talk with you a little bit about it and see if there's one some way that I can help you and I can do a cost analysis or a comparative analysis of price in your home. So, I hope to see you in some of the other videos. And if you have any questions, please uh, use the phone number or email or just uh, use the comment below. So thanks a lot.